Hi, my name is Sarah Russell. I'm a graphic designer living on the east coast of Canada, and here's my overview and reflection of Brief 2. I had a bit of a hard time deciding on a brief, but ultimately picked the research and development one as it sparked a few ideas with me right off the bat particularly after the guest lecture by John Stack, who's the digital director at the Science Museum, and also as someone who frequents galleries and museums fairly often. I also picked it because it intimidated me um, a lot, <laughs> as the challenge contained a scary word for me, prototype. Having never touched app design before, I focused on the creative concept first, and would then learn the skills and tools needed to execute my vision as I started the development process. Some key parts of the challenge stood out to me. Presenting information for the public to access and an exploration tool for discovering the collection. With my background in marketing and communications, I saw the challenge more as an obstacle of the way the information is presented rather than trying to tackle the more technical side of digitizing and organizing archives. I thought of how easily overwhelmed you get when exploring galleries and museums in person. There's only so many things your brain can appreciate and absorb before you get overloaded and fatigued. My strategy when visiting a massive museum like the Met or the Tate is to pick just two or three areas or exhibits maximum and stick to it. I took the same approach when exploring the digital archives. I initially was looking for two or three areas that stuck out to me to focus on. Living out the challenge in real time, I also didn't know where to start exploring. So I began with the random object generator. After clicking through objects for a few minutes, there were some things I didn't really expect to see, such as cultural, art, and medical items. The idea of curating a collection of rude, funny, crass, adult, cheeky, taboo, and generally rude items felt like a natural fit for my values and style as a designer. I like to have fun with design in both concept and aesthetics, so it felt like an idea I could really run with. But curating a collection was not the goal. It was the means to the goal. My vision is to pique the interest of this young adult demographic using rude items and have them explore the archives, perhaps unintentionally, as objects are presented to them one by one through an interactive game. I crafted the following mission statement. To encourage exploration, awareness, and interest of the Science Museum Group's vast digital archives by showcasing unique, unusual, and taboo objects through an interactive trivia game called Rude History. With the rise in popularity of trivia and word games during the pandemic, I started a bit more research there, and also with one of, if not the most popular card game of all time with young adults, Cards Against Humanity, which is the epitome of rude. I dug into the archive searching for things that fit my theme using every cheeky word I could think of, making sure to search across the different museum collections to include all of them. I also set a guide for object selection. The object has to have an extraordinary or unexpected quality or use. The object is ordinary but looks like it could have an extraordinary use to trick the player. The object is taboo or has adult themes. Or the object is fun, funky, or visually bizarre. I spent a lot of time looking at different formats to present questions for solo and team play and settled on three rounds of play style. For the design, I focused on what would really make the objects pop to keep them as the star of the show. I also approached Root History as its own sub-brand under the Science Museum umbrella to go with the same look and feel they've already established. I watched tutorials on Adobe XD, an app I've never used before to execute my vision fully. I did find it tricky to create a project from scratch in there, so I hopped over to my old friend Illustrator to map out the content, lay out designs, and tweak the copy before moving it into XD. In my test phase, I had some great feedback to help work out some of the design and functionality. I shared the app and an accompanying survey with people who fit that demographic and was happy to see some answers that supported my strategy. Reflecting on the journey from concept to development to output, I think it's a success. And I'm happy I took a risk with the brief that I chose, even though it was in uncharted waters for me. The prototype app has potential to grow and to be updated often to keep things fresh. I think it met the objective of reaching the intended demographic, but would need support through marketing and alignment with the Science Museum Group's existing properties and brand outreach strategy. I'm happy that the app still looks and feels like my personal style as a designer, 
I'm also happy I could still maintain my own personal style as a designer and match it with the app concept. Have fun playing. Thanks.